Hello guys, Ryan here. Today I have a Star Wars Rebels Hasbro action figure review. This is the Space Mission 2 pack with Ahsoka and Darth Vader. Um, I was really excited to get my hands on these. And now that I have them, I'll start with Vader here. Uh, it's died away a little bit. It's not that bad, but if I turn them to the side here, as you can see, Vader's head just wants to stay up. If I try to move it down, it's just not going to work. It's not the worst. Like, you know, you can't really tell, but um, his head can pop off. And the problem is with this piece and the neck, it comes together right there. There's no way you can move it, which kind of defeats the purpose of the ball joint. But pop the cape off here, let you guys see some of that detailing. They did a really good job on a lot of this, you know, back just plain. Um, I was hoping that the lightsabers would have a removable blade, like with um, Ezra's, but unfortunately they don't, and that also defeats the purpose of them having these clips. There's Vader's. Uh, that kind of aggravated me because I saw the clips, and so I kind of assumed, but Hasbro kind of cheaped out. Um, the reason I think that they did that is because maybe that was in the prototype. They would have um, late sabers with buckles, but you can see like these are really tiny. So that could be like the little buckles that they had, like the D ring or whatever they were going to do, was too frail. So they just decided not to leave it on. But uh, yeah, then here's Ahsoka. Uh, pretty good figure. Uh, Eyes on mine were painted a little off to the side, unfortunately, but for the most part, pretty good. Good detailing and everything. So, only thing is, I bet that this was done at the time of the concept art for the Rebels poster was done. Because in that poster, she had a light blue lightsaber and not white. So, these do shine a little blue. Which is unfortunate, but not that big a deal. Um, the problem that I have with these, though, is that they can't really move their legs and having a hard time getting Ahsoka to stand. You have to have their legs right, um, otherwise it just won't work. But it also came with this little launcher, which I remember when they did these like with the Clone Wars. So see if I could shoot it off screen it doesn't work like the greatest thing but it's okay and then I don't know why but I really like this it spins I don't know why probably like trying to represent some kind of force energy or something but uh anyway that's my look at these guys um is it worth it for $15 uh, if you really wanted them, yeah, I guess. Uh, play-wise, if you're a kid, I don't think that you would get them to play with, really. You can't really do too much with them. Their elbows can't bend or anything. It's standard five points of articulation. But, uh, yeah. Collector-wise, I'd get them. Kid-wise, for playing with and everything, no. Uh, anyway... Thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys again very soon.